Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. Here I go. What a shame. Uh, the world truly is a cruel and irrational place. And this little one just isn't good enough. Well, Mr. New Student, your name, if you would. I see. How terribly charming. That's a wonderful name.
Welcome to Shin Mikado Academy. I am Yoru, otherwise known as your Dean. Now, now, you can let your guard down. I just wanted to chat is all, especially with someone as extraordinary as you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. They'll pertain to your ego and the seven desires that make up your will. What does school life mean to you? Well, you only live once. How about in class? studiously take notes during lectures? Your teacher lauds the teacher's pet despite their bad grades. What do you think of this? It seems like your friend is about to mess something up. You're standing in line for, hmm, let's say ramen. Someone cuts in front of you, but you've been waiting for ages. What do you do? You need money to fulfill your goals, but have you ever looked at a naughty... <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Okay, let's say you're at a buffet. How do you decide what to eat? A situation has already been settled, but someone you hate is loved by everyone around. You're forced to take on a leadership role. Would you say you've ever truly... If you had extra free time, it... what would you do if someone started... Is there someone or something you care for? Choose one of these sets of words, would you? Your desire for wrath surpasses all others. You love letting your emotions run wild, I see. You're honest with your feelings and you always say what's on your mind. I guess people respect you for that. Am I right? Your desires are quite strong indeed. You have a firm sense of self and a stable ego. Something about you seems unbalanced, though. None of your desires should be neglected, you know? Without desires, your ego can't grow. Without an ego, you're no different from a doll. So be frank with what you want as you attend this academy, and live how you see fit.
Thank you. I understand you so terribly well now. I never get to chat with others this much. It's nice. Life at the Academy may be tough, but I know you'll be able to adapt to it right away. Let's speak again if our paths cross. And remember, I'm expecting great things from you. Ta-ta! Wake up! Please, open your eyes! He seems all right. Yeah. You're okay. You're really okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. You okay? Can you stand? is too thick. Let's move. I'm beat. I think I'm actually dying. Can't go on.
You're out of breath already. We barely moved. You really should exercise more often, Dr. Kakeru. Who's got the time? I'm a weak old man. You trying to kill me? Uh, was it Nozama, was it? It's Nozome Hinata. You work here. The least you can do is remember the students' names. Hey, I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Besides, I'm more used to calling you Prez anyway. heard a student collapsed on the second floor? I never imagined it'd be your brother, Chio. The second year building is connected to this one. Maybe he came from over there. Wait, you really can't remember? Huh? What's your name? You remember that much at least, right? Last name was Aikawa. traditional one. Ah, I see. Can you remember anything besides your name? Family, friends, anything about the school? Anything at all?
I'll bet whatever made him collapse is also the cause of his amnesia. Well, the mist does tend to drive people crazy. We don't know much about it. It's bad for people with weak respiratory systems, though. Like Chico here. <sighs> My name is Chio. But despite all that, your little sis came all the way here to see you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. You understand what I mean? Man, you forget your manners, too? You're the last person I want to hear chastising people over their manners, Dr. Kakeru. least you could do is thank her. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we've had our little breather. Let's move. We should hurry on out of here. There's no mist on the first floor. It'll be safer there. A phone call? But we 
nervous this entire time. Who could possibly be calling right now? Maybe it's someone from the outside. Maybe they'll be able to help us. Wait! Hello? What? What's that sound? My head hurts. Everyone, stay close. of you. Everyone all right? your destiny. Wait, wait! Unhand me, you uncouth, unkind underling! The impudence instantly interrupting my interlude! Heathen! 
deranged devil! Sadistic! Sadist! You may refer to me as Vanitas. Hey! Can you at least pretend to be petrified? You really put me off my game here, pal. Power is not a present to be provided. Pacify your predicament personally. These dastardly dissidents are demons. Lackeys of their lowest level. Legions. But even the lowliest legion would leave a lack-witted lug like you lifeless. I, however, possess a plethora of power. Prostrate before me and pray I spare you! Show me the delightful sight of your struggle to survive this plight, and I just might. Hey! Have you heard even one single word I've said? Go at them unarmed and you're as good as dead! You are utterly deranged! Can't you just let me give you my cryptic, mystical spiel? A facade with no memories within expectation, but no manners or sense of self-preservation? Gah! Enough! Dealing with you is giving me a headache. I cannot lend you strength, but I can still assist. After all, fate is static. It'll always persist. is in a magic ear. Your soul made manifest. You'll need it in the other world to make it through the rest. The power of vanity is yours for the taking. A reflection of your ego, a fiend of your making. Now go, and kill those things already!
Here I go. How irritating. How irritating. How irritating. How, 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 how,